Hello students, welcome to Kenny's EduCare, a group of Kenny Solutions. This is part 8 of lesson number 11, Work and Energy. So in part 7, we completed studying about kinetic energy. It means you can consider that 70% of the part of the lesson has been done because we are now just left with potential energy. Then there are two more concepts. One is law of con uh, conservation of uh, energy and a small concept and then the summary and then we have after the summary, we have exercise questions to discuss, right? So this is what we are left with and after that we will be completing completing with the lesson so maybe like two more parts and then we will be done with it okay but make sure that whatever we have studied till now you keep on revising it that is what plays a very important role in you knowing the concepts thoroughly as i am like saying that in all the classes Okay, as we are studying it, like I'm telling you and uh, tell you, telling you this in all the classes, it means revision is very important because uh, if you don't revise and you continue, keep, like you keep on continuing the videos, like, you will get the better understanding of the concept. But the confidence that you need to write the answer, that you will get once you revise it by yourself. Okay. So that is what I want from each one of you that you all are revising each and every part like whenever we are starting with a new part you are revising it again okay so today I will be starting with the potential energy part where you have already seen that we have so many activities and examples to discuss and you have even seen the exercise questions right I show you that in all the parts to make sure that when we are doing the exercise you are actually clear with the questions because you are going through the questions so many times and once you see that in your paper in your exam you are aware of oh this is from this lesson and from this part so that kind of confidence I want each one of you to have okay so now before I proceed with this part and uh, with respect to potential energy I want each one of you to please start revising whatever we have studied so far in the lesson from part one okay and then we'll proceed with the potential energy part I'll even make sure that you are uh, revising each and every part over here because I know most of you might have not revised right
so i hope you have done the revision part from your book now i want you all to even revise about this part where we started about work and not much work in spite of working hard because scientifically the definition for work is different from the one that we are aware of it's like if i am sitting and if i'm like uh, teaching you this lesson for me this is a work that i'm doing for myself right and you as a student you're taking the notes you are like listening to me for you also it's a kind of work right but it's scientifically it's not a work because for a work to be a uh, when can you say that the work has been done when you see that a force has been applied on an object okay and second thing is if there is a displacement so if this both the conditions are met then only we can conclude that work is done right so i just want each one of you to please go through this slide because you have like many uh, examples which have been given to make sure that you understand the concept of work properly so please go through it quickly everyone <coughs> sorry so sorry i hope everyone of you are going through it
so after this we discussed on this activity 11.1 so for that we need to like now because we are on to part 8 you should be able to answer the questions that they have asked right because you are revising it you are not going through it right we are revising it now so you should be clear with the question and please don't skip the activities because now the papers are very different you know the time when we used to give the exam we were only asked the questions from the exercise but now what has happened they are more uh, they like they are more focused on the activity based question then you can say Right, so I hope you all are answering these questions which have been asked on the and once you feel that you're confident enough to answer this, it means you have understood this. Okay. So after this activity 11.1, we even discussed on the scientific conception of work because scientifically work is very different, right? If I'm sitting at a place, I won't call it as work unless and until there is no displacement. We cannot define it that the work has been done, right? So over here as well, we have many different examples and the point of views which have been explained with respect to work. So I want each one of you to please go through the slide as well. Then now I hope you all, you all are going through it. So after discussing about the scientific conception of work, we even discussed on this activity 11.2. So I want each one of you to please go through this as well. And as you can see that there are so many questions which have been asked with respect to the activity, right? So here you can think of any situation from your daily life and whatever questions have been asked, just try to answer them. And once you find that confidence, okay. Uh, that you are able to answer it make sure that uh, like you even write the answers along with that which is going to make you more confident on it okay
After this 11.2, we, we even discussed on this activity 11.3. So I want each one of you to please go through it quickly. So I hope you have already written the situations and if any new situation strikes your mind just go through it as well. After this activity 11.3, we discussed on work done by a constant force. Okay. So... I just want you all to please go through it because on this slide we have like work done is capital W that is equal to force into displacement F is force and displacement is small s right so I just want you all to please go through it as it's very important again for you to know this right because on the basis of this if you remember the kinetic energy has been derived on the base on the formula like work is equal to force into displacement. So this forms the basis for kinetic energy as well. Okay, so after this work done by a constant force, we discussed on that work has only magnitude and no direction. So you should be knowing this. I am pointing out this statement every time when we are revising it. Right, so it means that uh, it's an important statement, right? Because it's going to help you a lot with many numericals as well. So please go through it as well, everyone.
after this we discussed on example 11.1 right so please go through it everyone After this, we discussed on the brief explanation on this part. So, I want you all to please go through it because this is how you come to know whether the force done, like the force applied, is positive or negative, or when you have to add a positive sign or a minus sign, right? So, please go through it, everyone, as well. So after this we discussed on this activity 11.5, 11.4 so I want each one of you to please go through it quickly. Then we discussed on this example 11.2 uh, and over here we can see how exactly we can calculate the work done, right? So please go through it everyone.
then we started discussing about energy so i want each one of you to please go through it as well I hope everyone have gone through the exercise which have been provided because that is what is very important, right? After this, we discussed more about energy, so I want you all to please go through it quickly. Then after this we discussed on this activity 11.5 so I want each one of you to please go through it quickly.
then we discussed on the forms of energy so i want each one of you to please go through it as well After this forms of energy, we discussed about James Prescott Joule, who he was and what is what projects he was working on, right? So I want each one of you to please go through it quickly. Then after studying about Joule, we started about kinetic energy. So I want each one of you to please go through it quickly. Then over here we have the derivation for kinetic energy which has been given. I want you all to please go through it quickly as well.
i hope every one of you are going through it then we discussed on the examples like if the object is stationary in that case what will happen in that case the stationary object doesn't have kinetic energy kinetic energy is only been found when the object is moving so moving object has this kinetic energy in them okay After this, we discussed on this activity 11.6. So I want you all to please go through it as well. So you can see that there are so many questions that they have asked on the, like in the activity, right? So I want you all to like know about this very well, okay?
After this, we discussed on this activity 11.7. So I want each one of you to please go through it as well. Then after this, we discussed on this example 11.3. I want each one of you to please go through it quickly. After this example 11.3, we discussed on this example 11.4 as well, right? So I want you all to please go through it quickly. Then now we need to start with potential energy, right? So see, potential energy is like the stored energy that the object is going to have, okay? So on this slide, we have the definition for potential energy. The energy possessed by the respective body, mainly due to the change of shape or position, okay? The energy is possessed by whom? by the body possessed means it has been stored by the body because of the change of shape or position we call those ball like we call that energy as potential energy so if you can see you have the diagram given so what they have stated this is the gravitational potential energy they have labeled the surface of the earth so the surface of the earth is like that then a brick has been placed on the roof of a house. Now why is it so? Because it has potential energy in it. It has some stored energy in it. And why is it so? Why the object is having this stored energy in it? Because of the change in the shape or position. Okay.
so i want you to write this uh, thing in your book I hope you all are writing the definition of potential energy. The energy possessed by the body, mainly due to the change of shape or position, is known as potential energy. Okay. After this, now we have this activity 11.8. What you need to do is take a rubber band, hold it at one end and pull from the other. So you might have done this already, right? Whenever you get a rubber band in your hand, this is what we keep on doing. We just keep on pulling it, right? So when you do this thing, you'll see that the band is going to stretch. So after stretching it, release the band at one of its end. And what happens now if you are not doing it but still we have done it many a times right so we can easily like come to know what exactly is going to happen over here what will happen the bend will tend to regain its original length what will happen the band will tend to regain its original length and obviously the band had acquired energy in its stretched position so when you when you had stretched the band the band already had some acquired energy present in the stretched position now the question comes how did it it acquire energy when stretched when you have stretched the band how exactly it acquired energy this is like the question which might have struck your mind right so we'll find an answer to it but before that before i tell you the answer i want each one of you to please think on it like when you are stretching the band how does it acquires energy
see what observation you can write for this activity is when a rubber band is pulled it gets stretched and released it gets its original position what you will write when a rubber band is pulled it gets stretched and when released it gets its original position okay so this is your observation now you have to give an explanation as well right so what explanation you can write is when the rubber band is pulled it gets stretched and energy is stored in it due to the work done on it because when you stretched it there was displacement right and in that case we can say that the work has been done so because work was done on it it was easily like stretched and in that case the energy was stored in it so the shape of the rubber band changes and the energy stored in it due to a change in the shape is known as potential energy so the statement that you wrote that the energy possessed by a respective body mainly due to the change of shape or position right so the rubber band is the best example for it because when you uh, stretch the rubber band it's changing its shape and a work is done on it so in that case you can say because the work is done on it, it it acquires the energy and that is the reason that energy is stored in it okay so when a rubber band is released its potential energy is used in the form of kinetic energy okay till now we were discussing when a rubber band is stretched now when the rubber band is released its potential energy is used in the form of kinetic energy how it has been used in the form of kinetic energy and the rubber band gets its original shape okay so this is your explanation and the conclusion that you can write for this is that this activity explains that energy is stored in an object when its shape is changed okay what happens energy is stored in an object when its shape is changed and this form of energy is known as potential energy what will you say that this form of energy is known as potential energy okay i'm explaining you the conclusion again this activity explains that energy is stored in any object when its shape is changed and this form of energy is known as potential energy so i want you all to quickly write the observation explanation and the conclusion for the activity
I hope everyone of you are writing it. So I hope every one of you wrote the observation, explanation and conclusion for the activity. Next activity is 11.9 where you need to take a slinky as shown below and ask a friend to hold one of its end. What do you need to ask? You need to ask one of your friend to hold it, hold one of its end. Now you hold the other end and move away from your friend now release the slinky what happened can you imagine what exactly happened how did the slinky acquire energy when stretched and will the slinky acquire energy when it is compressed what do you think like what can be the question uh, answer to this question I hope every one of you are thinking on the three questions which have been given. What will happen once you release the slinky? How did the slinky acquire the energy? And will the slinky acquire energy when it is compressed? So see, what explanation or what observation you can give over here is when the slinky is stretched, its shape is going to change, right? The shape of the slinky is going to change because you are stretching it. And when it is released, it is going to get it to its original shape again, right? So when you stretch it, the shape is changed. And once you release it, what happens? It goes back to its original shape again. This is your observation that the shape is changing. Now, what explanation can be given over here is when slinky is stretched, work is done on it and it acquires potential energy. What you will write? When the slinky is stretched, work is done on it and it acquires potential energy. 
and on releasing the potential energy on releasing the stinky slinky what will happen whatever potential energy was stored it is used as kinetic energy and the slinky tries to get its original shape what the slinky is going to try so that it can get its original shape and when the slinky is compressed now you have the third question as will it acquire energy when it is compressed so when the slinky is compressed then this time also slinky is going to acquire elastic potential energy okay what kind of potential energy it is going to apply Ela uh, like it is going to have elastic potential energy so the work done is compressing it and it gets converted into potential energy okay and when we are going to release it it is going to go back to its original shape again so this is the explanation to the activity now what conclusion we can have from this so this activity explains that energy is stored in any object when its shape is changed and this form of energy is potential energy so whenever an object is changing its shape it stores some energy in it and that stored energy is called as potential energy okay so i want each one of you to quickly write the observation explanation and conclusion I hope every one of you have started writing the observation and you are writing it observation explanation and conclusion
after this activity 11.9 we have one more activity like not one we have three more activities further so this is the last activity that i'm discussing with you okay then uh, the next two activities i'll be discussing in the next class okay so what you need to do is take a toy car wind it using its key so you know like we get the toy cars which we need to wind up so that it can start right so you need to take a toy car wind it using its key place the car on the ground and you have to check because you have winded it it's obviously going to move right so did it move from where did it from where did it acquire energy and does the energy acquired depend on the number of windings and how can you test this so now we all might have had this toy right toy car where we need to wind up now it's does that you need to go back and check and like try to remember what exactly used to happen so see what observation you can write over here is when the car is winded by its key and placed on the ground it's obviously going to start moving so did it move yes it is going to start moving and what explanation you will write over here when the toy car is won by its key the elastic potential energy is stored in the coil spring and when the car is placed on the ground the potential energy gets converted to kinetic energy what's happening over here the potential energy is getting converted to kinetic energy and the energy acquired by the toy car depends on the number of windings of the spring so we can test this as follow what we need to do we give five windings to the spring of the toy car and we can measure the distance covered by it so we can measure the distance that has been like covered by the toy car when we are giving five winding windings to it and now we give 10 windings to the spring and measure the distance covered by it and you will see that in the second situation when you are giving 10 windings the car is going to cover more distance because when you do that winding the potential energy is acquired is been stored and as soon as you release it potential energy gets converted to put, uh, kinetic energy right because of which it's covering more distance so the conclusion for this activity activity will be this activity explains that potential energy is stored due to work done on the object and this potential energy is converted to kinetic energy so every time what will happen the potential energy will get converted to kinetic energy so th through this activity we can explain that as well right so i want each one of you to quickly write the observation explanation and conclusion for this activity 11.10 I hope every one of you have started writing in
so i hope every one of you have started writing the explanation part after this activity 11.10 we have activity 11.11 .11 and 11.12 that i'm going to continue in the next part okay and after that we have we have to discuss about potential energy of an object at a height what if the object is at height in that case what amount of potential energy that object is going to possess so we'll discuss this in the next part then after that we have this example 11.5 11.6 and then we have another subtopic to discuss whether this various energy forms are interconvertible or not so we are going to study that through an activity 11.13 then we have activity 11.14 to discuss after that we have this law of conservation of energy which we will be discussing in detail okay then we have activity 11.15 then another subtopic as rate of doing work we'll discuss that again we have activity 11.6 11.7 example 8 example then the last subtopic that we have is commercial unit of energy okay and after this we have example and then activity again we have the summary to discuss like whatever we have started in the whole lesson so like we need more two three parts to complete the lesson because there are so many activities and examples right so we will be discussing them all in detail so make sure you are revising each and every part that we have studied in this part as well now before ending up with this part we have few exercise questions to discuss in the lesson right so i'm going to show you all the parts one by one and I want you all to please go through the questions that I'm showing you on screen because you are the one who's going to answer me the question again. Okay? So please go through the question, everyone.
So altogether there are 21 questions as you already are aware of. We will be discussing about each of them. Okay.
so this is how we will be ending up with the whole lesson work and energy and i hope whatever we discuss today in this part you are very much clear with it now the rest of the part for the lesson i'll be continuing that in the next part thank you everyone